There's a liver. I'm just going to wash that off of the thing. I can't tell it between the heart and breast meat when I eat it. It all tastes the same to me once you throw it in the marinade. Let the top portion off. You can see those the uh, difference portions of the heart. I have slid it all open. You can see all the different valves, or whatever they're called. And then I just throw it like that. So that's the heart now. These legs, you can see making a mess on the toes. Once you get them wet, you pull all that off. Yeah. Yeah. Those off. One. Yeah. You see that dark colored portion? That's all that off. Uh, where obviously shot went in. Kind of push it. You do the same thing with deer or anything. Oh, there's a BB right there. I feel tell it. Shot. Oh, there it is. So typically it blasts right through and you don't worry about it, but sometimes some in there. So it's kind of just like when you eat catfish or whatever, any of your fish, you know, you just got to chew slowly. So I feel some shot in there. Alright, so you see where that kind of goes? And what I do is I'll bone these out um, and throw it in a frying pan um, on the grill, however, however you do them. Yeah. Typically, the shot goes all the way through. I can see that there's another one. I don't want that going down the disposal. Oh, well. A little bit of fat on there. I'll be right. All right. See all that bloody meat? That's what you want to get out right there. You don't want any of that in there. So a lot of times, same when I shoot a deer, I'll try and rub all of that out. Just kind of massage it like that, it'll all come out. And you can eat. A lot of people throw a whole shoulder away, but you know, once the whole shoulder is good. Um, just a lot of blood in there. Just gotta get all that out. That's that, give it that bad, bad flavor. flavor so. Alright. So that's, I mean, that's what you're buying at the store, whole... That's about the size of a wing you'd buy at a store. And here's the other leg. Roll it off. Obviously this side didn't get hit, so I don't see any blood shots. There's probably no pellets inside that. You think to say. Get that excess skin off. right here is I pull this down. I pull that skin down to that first joint. Alright. Pull those feathers off. Same thing on. So that first joint right there is where I'll cut. Uh, it seems to save, I think it's the best amount of meat to save right in there. 
cut it. Same thing as uh, like on any other animals, just cut the tendons. See how these people sawing through stuff. There's no need to use a saw on anything. You know where those joints are, you just cut right through that little, little bit of cartilage or whatever it's called, tendons. So, wings off, throw the wing away. Got a dog, give it to the dog. They train them on those. Same thing, pull down. A lot easier to find a joint on a deer than it is little ducks, chickens, stuff like that. It's just so small. Can you throw that one away? Now you could you could cook this whole thing just like that, you know. You save it's not much meat you save on there, but it's still meat that you know you're not throwing in the trash. So you take that whole thing like that and just cook it like that, you know. Throw that on the grill like that. Just two little wings under there. You know, another little bite on each side, but that's stuff that most people just throw away. It's, you know, it's just getting wasted. So go it to the animal, take as much off of it, whatever you shot as you can. But I kind of clean up some of that tendons and stuff. If I can pull it out, I pull it out of the meat. Um, all that's that stuff. I mean, you don't want to eat that stuff. It kind of hurts you, but I think a lot of that bad taste, that gamey taste, comes from a lot of that tendon, that fat, stuff like that. One time you take to clean some of this stuff off, the better it's going to taste. You'll see uh, a lot of this feathers gets pushed through from the shot when it's hit. So if you can see that, go ahead and pull that out and just kind of squeeze the meat. Um, and knock out some of that stuff. But that's it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fillet these out, breast these out. Um, what I'll do is I'll make skewers with all this. Um, do them on a grill with some Caribbean jerk. But uh, that right there, I mean, you could throw that right there on the grill just like that. Wrap it in bacon or whatnot. All right. Lack this is this uh, small batter. You wanna cut everything off of it. I haven't got good at cleaning these yet. But it's got this like uh, silver skin around it. You just want to pull that off. And on this, you're just pretty much just peeling it. Get all that meat off, Get all that stomach nonsense off. But that's not what you don't want to eat that. It's a hard uh, skin almost. The same thing, you're only getting a little couple of bites out of there. I'll use a fillet knife because I can turn that knife and fillet just like a fish. 
so I lost like my back straps off here and stuff like that. Same thing, another little tight piece of meat. You don't like this section right here. Same thing, I'll cut down. Cut down and then turn that knife at the very end. Right over there. So this is what I got out of that wood duck. Um, that gizzard, it's already been processed. It's ready to go. The liver's already clean. It's ready to go. Um, so now I got is the legs and the breast. And I'll start with these legs real quick. So all I do is I cut around that joint. You know, just like you would any other animal. It's pretty much the same. You know, cut those. Uh... Just cut that bone out. If you were doing a bunch, obviously you're going to get a lot faster figure out exactly where to cut. So there's one little piece, and you get this whole other section. There's another little piece of meat. Pretty much it. Oops, I missed some on there. So that's that off that one. Get the other one real quick. Kind of follow those bones. Once you find that bone, it should start to peel right off of it. It's kind of bad angle that I'm trying to cut at. I'm cut and I cut my own self. You see how it's coming right off that bone now. That's fine. All right, there we go. That one came off real good. I do this just like you would a chicken wing, just do the whole thing. It's that bloodied area. So this is what most people are just going to mess with. They're going to throw away all that meat. You know, like I said, it's not that much. So you'll find that center breastbone. And just slip right down the center of it. Let's see if you can see this way. And it doesn't take much just to push that meat off. Um, just kind of work your knife like that. And it will uh, it'll just end up peeling off on its own almost. 
two, it seems like there's two separate muscles in there. Um, like a lower one and then, and then the main one. So you'll see them pull apart. You can see that pulling apart right there. So. And you got this bone right here. This, I guess that's the wishbone. I try and pull it over as much as I can. that uh, I guess what's equivalent like the shoulder and then you got the breast so there's one then, oh that little other piece of meat I was talking about Another little piece of meat. I know, I like it. And then you have this meat right here on the bone. Put over. Another piece of meat. So same, same thing, just get on the phone. Get that knife in there and just kind of push that meat right away. See, I'm just kind of pushing it over. See that wishbone narrow up. Breast. Turn that if you can pull all that meat, it makes it a little bit easier and pull it right off. And then you just have to cut that very last bit. It. So you'd be able to save a little bit more if you were to, uh, you know, cook it whole because then you could just chew it right off the bone. But that's about it. So very little meat on there. So uh, it's wasted. So that's it. All right, so now I'm just going to trim it up, cut that little bit of fat, anything like that off. You're obviously not going to eat. All right, that one's good. feathers, stuff like that, get all that, that stuff off. Um, and all this is pretty clean anyways. To, uh, that. And then I'll rinse this stuff. I'll rinse this off real quick. All that stuff you can just pull off. It's not that big of a deal to leave it on. This meat in there. Wipe the cutting board off. So there's a lot more meat on that duck than most people can take off. And so once you throw it all together, um, obviously you'll know when you're eating that because it'll be more of a crunchier, uh, thicker taste. 
Um, so what I do with the breasts, all I do is I cut them straight in half. I'll cut that little piece out of that bottom. It's almost like a texture of like a tenderloin. Um, I'll cut it straight in half. Um, and then from there, I'm gonna cut it the little bite-sized chunks. And that's it, all right? Do the same thing for the other side. Cut it straight in half. White side chunks, and everything else is already into the chunks that it needs. You know, you have little pieces like that. Um, so you don't gotta mess with any anything else. The heart's already a bite sized chunks, liver, little pieces of liver that are already bite sized chunks. Um, these I just, you know, you might have to cut them in half and that's it. Just straight in half and that's it. Usually they're already uh, broken enough in half where you don't have to mess with it. Cut it in half again and that's it. Right, stop. All right, last out, I just take a little small Ziploc bag. Somebody's helping you. They can they can do that. all that meat in that bag. And uh, I'm gonna eat this here in a minute, in a few hours. Um, from there, I take that marinade, and you don't have to use this uh, this stuff. You can use the great value stuff. Um, yeah, since it's marinated, it doesn't really matter what you're using. Um, the, the difference isn't, isn't going to matter. You can just use the cheap stuff. Pour some of that in there. Um, just enough so it's all covered. Top back on. Might have to put just a little bit more in there. Get some of that air out. And just kind of mix it up with your hands. I'm going to put a little bit more in there. A little bit more, and that's it. Wait a few hours a day. Uh, some people say a couple of days. Wait, you know, 48 hours um, to eat it. I'll eat this probably for dinner tonight. We'll fry it up as like an appetizer. Um, and things stirred up. And that's it. And then uh, when I cook it, all I'll do is I'll take some. Uh, Instead of using bacon, you can wrap these in bacon, put them on a toothpick uh, with the bacon, throw it on the grill. Uh, but what I did is I just take a little bit of that pork fat that I've got from uh, the venison I mix up. I'll throw just a little piece of pork fat in the skillet um, just to get that, that pork flavor, the, uh, the fatty fa flavor in there. Uh, and then uh, I'll dip this in honey. I'll pour a little bit of honey in here afterwards um, after a few hours and I throw all this into the skillet. Uh, real fast, sear it real quick, and then uh, and then it's, it's good to eat. Um, you just don't want to overcook it. Uh, it'll get real tough. I mean, you just want to throw it in there for just you know maybe a minute or two, and that's it. Um, so you, just, you don't want to overcook it. Uh, that's it. It'll go in the refrigerator till this evening. Stop.